welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sitting down and we are doing a Valentine's Day inspired look. Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I want to do a very pink look. I'm super excited. I have something envisioned in my head and I'm really hoping that I can bring it to fruition on this face. Before we get started, don't forget to upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out and learn that. If you're excited and you want to see a Valentine's Day pinky look, then let's go ahead and get started. So the look that I have envisioned is just a really like light pinky eye, almost like a wash of pink with lots of sparkles. I'm going to get into a ColourPop Super Shock. I want a really like blush heavy look, like lots of pink blush, and then a bright bold pink lip with this right here, which is the Fenty Beauty um, Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unlocked. I, in my mind, it's a really beautiful, stunning look. Let's see if it'll actually look that good in person and if I can make it come to a light, like I said, I'm hoping it does though, I'm hoping it does. So first we're going to prime our eyes with the NARS um, Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. A couple people on my trying new makeup video commented that it would probably work out better if I um, blend this out with my finger or a brush. So I have been trying that and I will say I like it better. What I found is that I like to go in with the finger first and just kind of like pat it out and get most of the pigmentation and just blend it out kind of like that and then go in with a brush which this is the flower beauty this is actually their concealer brush and just kind of like pat it out get the excess off and really like mesh it into my eyelid yeah that's the way i found i like it the best and i also have not been setting it down which Every single time I put this on and then go in with eyeshadow, I'm terrified that it's just going to be super skippy and like stick to the eyeshadow base. Uh, but so far, so good. And it hasn't really done that. So not setting it, I feel like is the way to go. Okay, so since I want like a really light wash of pink, I want it to be super sparkly. So I'm going to go in with a ColourPop Super Shock in the shade Bubbly. This just looks like the most beautiful light pink and it is super sparkly. I've used it quite a few times in the past. I don't think ever on camera though. But before that, I want to apply a really light wash of a pink shadow. So we're gonna go into the Pat McGrath Bridgerton palette and I'm going to reach for this shade right here, which is Art of the Swoon. And I'm just gonna kind of put this everywhere. I'm gonna put it on my lid up into the crease and just kind of put like a base layer of this really beautiful light pink shade. I don't want it to be too pigmented. So I think I'm gonna stop there and just really blend this out everywhere oh that shade i could stop here that shade is absolutely stunning i think it's like my favorite shade in the palette i don't know though this one down here is also really beautiful this whole palette is just beautiful my b emblem on that is going away though so i'm kind of sad <laughs> but yeah this is exactly like the tone and shade that i wanted just putting a light layer Alrighty, now we're gonna go in with ColourPop bubbly and we're just gonna kind of put this everywhere like all over the lid, really pack it on and build it up, up into the crease. Like I want this light pink sparkly shade everywhere. It doesn't have a ton of base pigmentation on its own. That's why I wanted to go in with that pink shadow first and give it a pink base to go on top of. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Just a really light wash, super, super sparkly. The eyes are not really going to be the emphasis of this look. It's going to be the really blushy cheeks and the bright, bold lips. So, ooh, I love it. Let's move on. For primer, we're going to go in with the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. You guys, this primer is bomb. I definitely think it's underrated. I want to do like an underrated makeup video coming up. And uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be on it. I think it's such a good primer. It's smoothing. It adds a little bit of hydration to the skin. It just feels so good when you're rubbing it in. I am, I'm in love with this primer. I'm on the second bottle that I've gone through. I've been through one in the past. I don't think it gets as much love as it should. And then the foundation I want to go in with is not the most full coverage ever. I love how it looks on my skin and I love how it wears on my skin. That's why I'm using it. But before I go in with foundation, I'm going to go in with my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I have the shade L2 or I'm sorry, light to vanilla. And I'm just going to spot conceal some of these um, undesirable areas. <laughs> some of this redness, acne scars, pretty much my whole face. <laughs> I was talking with my friends the other day about like going to a dermatologist and just getting like, 
I don't know necessarily facials, but like just something, something done on my face that has to like do with the, all the redness and acne scars and stuff I have. Uh, my friend Hannah has been going to her dermatologist for years now and my friend Courtney is getting married in October and so she was saying that she like wanted to do some things and I was like I want to <laughs> not like fillers or anything like that but like microdermabrasion or something like that if you have any experience with anything like that from like a dermatologist can you like let me know the process I think if you get like a peel or something, you can't like, you obviously cannot wear makeup for a couple weeks, I think, because you're like, your skin is peeling off, which I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. So we'll see if I actually do it. I talk a big talk. I say I want to do things and then I never end up doing them. But um, yeah, I just have so much just redness and scarring that I would, I would like to get rid of. Then we're going in with the Dior Forever Matte Foundation. I have the shade Zero In. This is the old formulation though. I know they just recently uh, released their new formulation. I have not tried that one yet. I'm not sure why they did that. I, I think they're making it clean, like better ingredients and cleaner ingredients, but I'm kind of bummed because I love this one so much. But I was watching Morgan Turner's uh, I think her like foundation roundup video, she put it out yesterday my time. By the time you guys are seeing this, it was like a week ago. But she was saying that the new formulation is like amazing and that she loved the old formulation and she loves the new formulation as well. So I'm like, ooh, that is good. When this one is gone, that's good to know that the new one is just as good apparently. It's not the most full coverage foundation by any means, but I just love, I just love it on my skin. I think it blends in so nicely. And the thing about it is it wears, it wears impeccably, like all day long. And it is matte, but it's not drying or anything like that. It's just a beautiful foundation. It's expensive. I will say I got mine in PR through Influencer. So I did not purchase this one. However, I like it so much that when this one is gone, oh, can't get my ring. Oh, these earrings are so cute, but they always get in the way. However, I like it so much that when this one is gone, I can definitely see myself paying the $50 to get a new one. So I got the foundation all blended in. And if you can see, it just looks beautiful on my skin. It definitely is more on the matte side, but it just blends in so nicely and it's not drying. It's not 1 million percent full coverage. Like I said, you can still see some things, but oh, I'm telling you, I love it. Next up, we're going in with my Kosas Revealer Concealer in the shade 0.5 in, my trusty favorite concealer. I did see that they are releasing a foundation, like a revealer foundation. I definitely plan on picking it up. By the time you guys see this video, I believe it will have already launched. So hopefully I can get my hands on it and try it out. I have seen a couple people complaining about the undertones of the foundation that Kosas isn't really listening to their consumers, that a lot of people have said that the undertones in the concealers are too orange and too yellow, which I definitely, I definitely agree with. And the fact that they are now releasing like a foundation that also seems to me super yellow undertone, people are like, uh, what the heck Kosas, you're not listening to your consumers. I definitely can like, see their point of view. Their concealers are very yellow toned and it looks like their foundations are going to be too. But I guess in Kosas's, Kosas's um defense, it's like a formulation that everyone knows and loves. So maybe they just didn't want to mess up the formulation. I have no idea. Obviously, I don't know anything about like the behind the scenes making of makeup, but I love this concealer so much that it makes me so intrigued to try the foundation. So I definitely plan on trying to pick it up and trying out for you guys. If I do, I plan on doing like a first impressions, wear test, all of that. So we shall see. We shall see if I can get my hands on it. I went ahead and set my face off camera. And for that, I use my Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. Next up for bronzer, I'm using a bronzer you cannot get anymore. I'm so sorry about that, but I'm using the Marc Jacobs uh, Omega Bronzer in the shade Tantastic. It's just the most perfect neutrally undertone. And I'm gonna try, you guys. I'm gonna try to go light-handed with the bronzer. You guys know I'm not good about that, but I really want this look to be more blush heavy than bronzer heavy. So we're gonna go in with a really light layer of bronzer. I still want to bronze my face up because if not, I'm like one color and I'm like a pale piece of paper, but not too much bronzer. What do you guys have planned for Valentine's Day if you are doing anything? Usually Mike and I don't really make a big stink about Valentine's Day. He usually gets me flowers and then we like to cook dinner at home together because obviously going out is like crazy. The restaurants are always so super packed on Valentine's Day and around Valentine's Day. So we'll probably end up just 
making a meal at home. I usually don't do much for him for Valentine's Day, which I feel really bad about now that I'm like thinking back to past years. But this year I wrote him like a little letter that like says all the reasons I love him. It's like mush mushy gushy. And then I ordered him some crunch candy bars because he loves them. And around Halloween time, we specifically buy the variety packs of candy that have the crunch bars in them for him to eat because he loves them that much. And then he tries really hard to not give them out to the kids. So there's some left over. <laughs> so he loves crunch bars. And I was thinking, he doesn't have to just eat crunch bars at Halloween. I can buy him some now. So I got him like a big old bag of crunch bars. And uh, yeah, that's what we're, that's what I'm doing for him for Valentine's Day. But like I said, we're not really gonna do a whole lot. It's just not worth it to go out and try to like beat the crowds and go to a busy restaurant. I'd rather just hang out at home and relax. So let me know down below if you have any plans what you are doing. Next up for blush, I went ahead and picked up another one of the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. I got the one in She's So LA sent to me PR and I love it so much that I ended up picking up the shade She's That Girl and it's just like a really pink sort of shade. I think it'll be perfect with this eye look. We're gonna go into the powder first and apply that to the cheeks. Like I wanna bring it up here really make this blush heavy that is really pretty i don't want to go too overboard with the powder though because we still have the cream to apply these blushes are so good will i eventually own every shade oh no Alrighty, we're gonna go into the cream next and for that i'm gonna use this new elf putty primer applicator brush i used this in my trying new makeup a couple days ago when i put that video up and i used it for cream contour and cream bronzer and i didn't love it for that and so many of you guys commented on that video and said you love this brush for cream blush, not bronzer. And I definitely agree. I used this for cream blush yesterday, my time, um, and it was so beautiful. I love how like densely packed it is. You can really just put the blush exactly where you want it. So this brush for blush, mm, A+. plus. So we're going to tap into the cream side. I am going to tap it off on my hand because I don't want it to be too intense. I mean, I do want it to be intense. I want this to be a really blush heavy look, but I want to be able to control it and make it as blushy as I want it to be. Oh, the shade is working out real well. I'm wondering if the blush is going to be too much with the bright pink lips now that I'm like applying the blush. I might, I might end up having to tone the blush down a little bit because it is, that is really bright. So pretty though, I love this tone. I'm usually not like a pink, like bright pink blush kind of girl, but uh, this is really pretty. I am going to tap over it a little bit with my foundation sponge because it's just a little too much. Ooh, that's pretty though. This tone, oh, this pink is so pretty. Next up for a highlight, we're gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Blossom Glow. I love using this highlight with um, pink eye looks because it is a really pinky tone highlight. I just think it's pretty. I'm gonna use it just a little bit, keep it a little bit farther back. Again, I want this to be really blush and lip focused. And then go over that with a brush, mesh them together. Forgot to contour my nose. Whoops, a daisy. All right, now we can highlight this nose. Let's finish up the lower lash line. I'm gonna take that pink shade from the Bridgerton palette and just lightly run that along my lower lash line. Don't want it to be too intense. Then we're gonna use our highlight as our inner corner highlight. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and mascara off of camera and I'll be right back. For brows, I used my Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift in the shade Natural Brown, and I set it down with my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter, and then I used my Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Except for lips, first I'm going to line them with my Becca Ultimate Lip Definer in the shade Toasty. You guys, this is almost gone, and I do not know what I'm going to do when it is gone. Obviously, Becca has shut down. They do not make these lip liners anymore, and this is like my favorite light pink lip liner. I am so sad that I don't have that looked like I was picking my nails. I'm so sad I don't have very much left. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. And then we're going in with the Fenty Beauty Stun the Lip Paint in the shade Unlocked. This is such a bright pink lip. I am a little terrified <laughs> to put this on, but uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it.
not bad not bad sometimes i really overline my lips and really mess up my lip line when i am going in with a really intense liquid lipstick like this but i feel like i did a pretty good job lastly we're going to set it all down with my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray Alrighty, before I end the video, you guys might think I'm crazy, but I am going to add a smidge more blush. Just a little bit. We're going to add a little bit more of the cream just to really pop the cheeks up. I feel like we lost it a little bit. Probably when I went over it with my foundation sponge. <laughs> See, now it looks like clowny. Oh, I can't find a good medium where it's like poppy and punchy, but not too poppy and punchy. It's fine, it's fine. And those are you guys. That was my Valentine's Day inspired get ready with me. I actually really like how this look turned out. It's kind of everything I envisioned. Let me get you a little bit closer so you can see how sparkly and pretty this eye look is. It's just a really light wash of pink that's super sparkly. It's exactly what I wanted. The cheeks are puffy and punchy. This bright, bold lip. This is quite the bright bold lip, not gonna lie. But I actually really, I really like how this look turned out and it really is what I was envisioning and what I was picturing. So I was really glad I could make it come to life. I feel like that's like the most frustrating part about makeup when you have a look in mind and you can't make it come out the way you want it to. And I feel like this one did. So I am super excited. I really love how it looks. Let me know down below what you think as well. As always, all of the items that I use today will be listed and linked below. They are affiliate links. If you ever shop through them, I get a little bit of a kickback and I appreciate it more than you know. Trust me. Also, don't forget to let me know down below what you are doing for Valentine's Day if you have any plans. Other than that, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.